Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Dr Nick Nickam and this is cardiology lecture series and all our programs are video stream through YouTube and please please do subscribe to our YouTube channel now the feature presentation Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to cardiology lecture series i am dr nick nickam and today we are going to learn how to palpate and monitor carotid pulse if you are a medical student if you are a nursing student or if you are learning how to palpate carotid for the first time this would be useful for you there are two main carotid arteries namely right carotid artery and the left carotid artery the right carotid artery arises from the right subclavian whereas the left carotid artery arises straight from the aortic arch both these carotid arteries divide into the internal carotid artery which supplies the brain and the external carotid artery which supplies the skull and the facial structures so how do we palpate a carotid pulse especially in a cardiac arrest situation a little deeper look into the carotid artery as it is anatomically situated in the neck this is the sternocleidomastoid and in front of that the carotid artery runs and behind that is the internal jugular vein as you can see just below the jaw the carotid artery divides into the internal carotid artery and the external carotid branch the external carotid artery has multiple side branches which helps you to identify its anatomy whereas the internal carotid artery does not divide until it reaches the base of the brain that's well and good but how do i know in a patient where the carotid artery is what are the anatomical uh, structures that i need to be concerned about that's a good idea as you can see here we have a triangle here and this is called the anterior triangle and this is the carotid the carotid artery is located in the anterior triangle another landmark that we are going to talk about would be this uh, cricoid uh, cartilage which will help us to identify the level at which we want to feel for the carotid pulse let's turn this neck around so when the patient is lying flat on the bed and you are on the side of the bed you feel for the cricoid notch and then you bring your fingers down until you feel the pulses generally the carotid generally the carotid artery pulse is felt using the index and the middle fingers both fingers it is wrong to use just one finger to feel the carotid artery if you are a starting student i would suggest you use both the index finger and the middle finger and gradually glide them from the cartilage down straight down so that you feel the pulse why should we come straight down not up if you go up this way as you can see it is uh, deeper in location plus it divides and these things may make it difficult for us to appreciate a strong carotid pulse hence it is important to come straight down where the artery is most superficial that helps us to feel the carotid pulse with its maximum impulse well here the skin is opened and you can see the artery and it's quite easy to put your fingers on the artery and say oh there is the carotid pulse how do we do this in a real patient or oh, let's look at a real situation and here is a patient here is the head end of the patient and here is the foot and here we have the chest so here you feel, look at this cricoid cartilage you come straight down here and as you can see you are feeling the pulse the fingers should be almost running parallel to this line more or less because the arteries runs something like this 
So you want to make sure your fingers run parallel to the line between the jaw and the cricoid cartilage. And if you don't feel it, you move your fingers back and forth, but always make sure that you stay in front of this sternocleidomastoid muscle. If you do that, you are more than likely to feel the strong carotid pulse. Carotid artery is 5 to 6 millimeters in size, so you should have no problem feeling the pulse in a normal person. But however, in a cardiac arrest situation with very low blood pressure, the carotid pulse may be very feeble and sometimes it may come and go. Especially if you have long nails, make sure that you don't poke your nails into the skin because the patient may feel uncomfortable. Always keep your fingers flat and slightly pressing the skin so you can feel the pulse uh, with your fingertips. So that is a brief review of how to feel for the carotid pulse, how to monitor carotid pulse. I hope this has been useful to you. I am Dr. Nick Nickham and we will see you next time. Thank you. Again, thank you so much for watching this presentation and until next time, I am Dr. Nick Nickham.